In the two years since their formation, the Pike County Relief Service has made a significant impact on the region following the 2022 floods. Rebuilding homes and supplying provisions for those struck by the floods is no easy feat, but the group manages to find a way. Mountaintop News spoke with the group's chair, Sandy Penix, for an update on how their summer is going. So we have been uh, fortunate enough to have uh, donations from several places, uh, Kentucky Colonels, Kentucky Methodist Conference, the uh, United Church of Christ, so many others, it's hard to mention them all. So, but we have a group of compassionate uh, business people and clergy in this area that are continuing to work with uh, placing volunteers and gathering information from families that are still in need and actually housing some of those volunteers. Uh, Virgie Baptist Church and uh, First Christian Church recently housed, um, I don't know, probably each team had 15 to 18 people in those. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. The group continues to dedicate themselves and offer generosity and hospitality to those who need it most. Even now, they are making preparations for when the next disaster hits the region. We're winding down on our July 22 flooding. Uh, you know, of course, there's still cases and we still will continue to work with those as best we can. Um, but we continue to, uh, you know, stay in existence because it's not if but when the next disaster will happen and, and through our lovely uh, people that are helping us with donations, we continue to uh, seek those in need and, and we have a team of people that work on those to make sure that we go through all of the steps to make sure that the funding is, is given, you know, legitimately. Um, and so we want to share the compassion of our community with these. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.